Are you tired of your husband not acknowledging you for the amount of work you do in the house, for not helping you around the house? Are you tired of them not understanding the workload and the uh, mental stress that goes along with taking care of a family? Um, well, if so, then you're gonna get a lot of value from this video. Hey, my name is Sonny Carter and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how to work with, communicate, and, um, and deal with a spouse who doesn't acknowledge you. So if you struggle with a husband who um, doesn't acknowledge your work, doesn't appreciate your worth, um, or you feel like they don't help a lot or don't really understand the amount of mental workload and mental stress that goes along with taking care of a home and the kids, then you're gonna get a lot of value from this video because this is a common problem. It happens a lot amongst marriages um, where wives feel like they don't feel acknowledged, they don't feel valued, and they don't feel appreciated for all the things that they do and um, where the husband doesn't want to put in any extra work to help them um, and they feel like you know they just kind of left out there so um, one of the things I do want to say to um, to deal with this issue here is communication is usually a big part of it um, many times especially if you have um, a husband who is defensive and I'm gonna to get to the man side in a second if you are a man watching this but um, a lot of times if a, if a spouse is defensive or argumentative, it makes it very hard for a wife to approach the husband because she feels like she's going to get attacked and she feels like she's going to um, start an argument and things are going to blow up. And so that's what you don't want to be because you don't want your wife to internalize her feelings and how she's feeling and eventually it's going to eat her away on the inside out and your marriage will slowly drift apart because she's not going to be afraid to share what she's feeling and she's gonna feel like she's walking on eggshells all the time. So that's number one, is you have to be willing to listen and to be able to hear what your uh, wife is saying to you. Okay, so um, just for, to give you a man's perspective, when we are working sometimes, and let's say if you're a homemaker, or even if your wife was working, um, but men, you know, we tend sometimes can get stressed out from work, we can have a lot on our plate, we tend to be mentally exhausted, um, and a lot of times when we come home, the last thing we want to do is um, get engaged in deep conversation. So a lot of times we just got to get warmed up into talking. And I like to call it like men are more single threaded, right? We like to, we can tend to focus on one or two things at a time. Um, but when we tend to get so many things thrown at us, we can get kind of overwhelmed and stressed out. Okay. And so what I would say is timing is, is the thing is knowing when to approach um, your husband and how to approach them okay so timing and then how and so um you know if you if your husband comes home and he's stressed out and he's kind of exhausted he's mentally draining um you know as soon as he comes in the door if he's being unloaded with the, you know this gotta get done this gotta get done and he's gonna be, be just overwhelmed and so you have to pick your timing uh i find that the best times that i've experienced couples communicate is when um during uh, either bedtime or when they have one-on-one -on -one time when they're connecting, they talk about other things and just warm up the conversation. Um, I don't buy into the fact that men are not emotional. I think men are emotional. They're just better at hiding their emotions or they don't understand or not in touch with their emotions as much as women are. But men are emotional. Don't buy into that lie. Um, and they just need to be drawn out sometimes. And so when you find the right timing, okay, if your husband, once you get your husband singly focused on you and you guys are talking, then you can bring up um, the things you need to bring up about feeling maybe not appreciated, feeling overwhelmed or not acknowledged or needing help. Or if they're going to ask you to do something and you do it, don't complain or, or criticize you about how to do it, right? And so these are the things that you want to bring up, but it's all about timing. Like you don't want to just come and just start bringing it up out the blue. So um, sometimes you can just start warm up conversations like how's your day going? How was work? Um, you know, you can talk about maybe um, what he's doing in terms of his, his favorite sporting activities and initiating into, into his world. Okay, that's what's a big thing that men love is when women initiate into their, into their world, um, like taking interest in the things that they're doing or they'd like, you know? So talking about maybe some of the sports that they're watching or some of the, what's going on with the sports news and just warming them up and then say, you know, and then kind of transition to the things that you want to talk about um, in the marriage and the relationship and let them know that, hey, by the way, I wanted to talk to you. Um, I've been feeling this in this way. Um, I've been feeling like, you know, um, 
kind of working on eggshells a little bit because every time I approach you, I feel like um, you're going to get, you know, blow up at me or you're going to yell at me. Again, it's all about how you approach, how you come across. You know, it's about tonality, body language, and coming across from a place of love um, and being consistent with that, okay? And so, again, so, you know, we, again, men are, ten, are single threaded. Like, if we're in the middle of work and then you come and try and talk to him about something, talk to your husband about some deep conversation um, or something that's, you know, is pretty heavy or needs to be talked about, um, it's just going to frustrate him. Um, so finding that timing when he's your single focus, okay, whether it's bedtime, whether it's morning, you guys having breakfast, um, whether you're sitting down, just talking, like those are the times where he's singly focused on you where you guys can have conversation, okay, or set up that time to do that. Um, so that's what I recommend. If you're feeling that way, I think um, for the men, I think that sometimes, you know, it can be tough, right? Working um, long days and then coming home. And then the last thing you want to do is lift a finger or do anything. What I would say to that is, you know, um, do what you can to communicate again and be open with, okay, what's in terms of, okay, job responsibility, who's going to do what and how you can help and be open. Just say, look, I'm really tired to get home. Um, but I do want to help you. I do want to support you. Let me know how I can help in any way. But, um, you know, this would, this would really help me as well. And kind of figure out a balance between you guys. There's no... The thing is, you can't... We, we, we have to communicate every time we feel something. And if we feel like, you know, we're not being acknowledged, if we feel like we're not getting the help we need, we have to communicate that. Um, you know, for the wives or the husbands, if you feel like, you know, you're not getting the help you need, if you feel like you're stressed out and you're doing everything, like, you just have to talk about that. And the goal is just to sit down and come to a compromise on where you both can come to a win-win where you guys both feel like you're going to help each other and give grace. Like, we're not perfect. Our wives are not perfect. We're all going to make mistakes. Um, we have to learn to give grace and be able to just pick up where we left off and continue to help each other. So I hope you got some vibe from that. If you did, let me know. If you struggle with this issue with your husband or spouse not appreciating you, not acknowledging you, or not... Um, or criticizing you and uh, if this video was helpful and if you're a guy and if you feel like you know you've been criticized um you criticize your wife a lot or you feel like you need to change this area or you feel like you know maybe you're the one that's doing all the work and you're not being acknowledged then let me know below i'd love to hear your comments and your questions on this and uh appreciate you guys so much and subscribe to this channel if you like more videos like this um because it's all about really helping our marriages thrive and overcoming uh, barriers um, from our past to really help us ha have breakthroughs in our life and our marriage. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Take care for now.